Right guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the island. I'm just staying still. Oh, it's flown off. I was staying still. <laughs> uh, because I have uh, made a little bird snare there and I was wondering if that bird was going to get snared. But let me talk you through the camp. It's been a couple of days since we've last uh, seen each other. Uh, in game at least uh, and probably in real life as well to be fair <laughs> uh, and there has been an update done to the game which uh, one of the big things of it was around hunger balancing which I have definitely noticed um, the hunger seems to uh, not come as quickly now uh, thirst is still quite quick uh, quite a bit of an issue um, but hunger definitely much better than what it was so I think I told you about the water collector last time. That is actually finally got some water in it now. Uh, not very much, but we'll just finish off what's in there. We've made a bird snare, like I say. And we're just waiting for that to actually snare something. Because I need uh, feathers for my bow. Or for the arrows for the bow, at least. Um, water collector. I've also made a little... Where is it? this thing here which looks odd shape <laughs> but it's a little water pouch so I can dump that in there get water and it stays fresh for a long time um, did encounter a little bug where I clicked by accident rather than hitting E I clicked out of habit thinking it would pick it up and I swung my axe at it like that and I thought I destroyed it but actually I found it later on when I was walking around literally all the way over here somehow it had flown all the way and it was just like floating in this water here there's a plane over there again still. Also, I'm just being careful how far I turn. Because I don't want to spoil the big reveal. <laughs> I've got this drop box that I've created here. Um, which, I've got to be honest, it's a bit of a nightmare. There is just like no order to it. You just, just drop stuff in out of your inventory and it doesn't kind of order itself in any way, shape or form. Uh, we've still got the ancient lantern. Oh, I thought we'd snared something. <laughs> Nothing happened with the shelter there. But, I have been busy, you'll see a lot of trees knocked down there. We have, now, this beautiful, fine vessel. Quite a big yacht, let's call it a yacht, <laughs> for us to go sailing on. Um, it's a bit of a funny setup, I've got a barrel in the middle, tyres either side. I couldn't find enough tyres or barrels for it to be everything made out the same. We've got Wilson here, keeping an eye on everything behind us, keeping an eye on shark watch for us and we've got a little flag that I found as well, I've since found a pirate flag, but I have absolutely no idea, if anyone knows this please, please tell me in the comments I've got no idea how I can like remove stuff that I've crafted, so you know, if you have a hammer I don't have my hammer anymore my hammer's over there somewhere um, you press R to start building, but you can't actually take stuff away. Um, because I've got a pirate flag now too, and I would like the pirate flag there in place of uh, the American flag. Because I'm obviously not American, as you might be able to tell by my voice. <laughs> but we are good to go on our maiden voyage. Um, I've got plenty of rope with me. I've got small sticks, I've got a spear, a knife and an axe. We've got stones, cloth, rope, we've got a banana, we've got ginger, bug repellent, more rope. Uh, I wonder if I should eat this. I'm going to eat this now, actually. So we don't have any food on us other than the banana. But due to the update that the devs have done, I think food is much less of an issue now. We've got yucca leaves, I can make rope later on, and we've got our water. So, guys... The time has come. I've got a surfboard as well. I've not actually gone surfing on it yet. But the time has come for us to test the craft out. The HMS. I don't know what we call it yet. Let me know in the comments what we should call this fine vessel. Um, there's something over there. So maybe we just do a quick journey to that first off. Get a hang of the controls. Find out how fast this baby is. She is a fine vessel. Don't have a bottle to actually smash against her. Um... But I don't know how I get her. Can I push her? Oh yes, I can, yeah. My worry is that it will kind of sail away without me at some point. And also, my secondary worry is... I can't see them yet. 
but there were sharks that were incredibly interested the whole time I was building this. So, I don't know what that means for my long-term prospects. Let's push this out to sea. Let's climb aboard. Oh, one last thing before we set off. There is a note that I found on a sticky note as well. Corporate greed. I'm going to skip to reading that out for you now. I'll put the time below if you want to skip as normal. You can skip ahead and come back to the boat or you can listen to the five pages of this. We do have another digit on there. Nine. So we've got six and nine now. And we've read that one already. So we're three notes in actually. Here we go. Corporate greed. March 25th, 1985. Two weeks have passed since my last entry and things have only gotten stranger. Sam and I managed to get a few moments alone on the shore yesterday, away from the prying eyes of the supervisors. It's surreal how beautiful this place can be when the storms aren't raging. If only we were here under different circumstances. The platform tower is coming along, but there's a palpable tension among the crew. More tools have gone missing, and yesterday we found that one of our colleagues, Marcus, wander, wandering, I guess that's meant to say, the beach in a daze. He couldn't remember how we got there or what he was supposed to be doing. It's like the island is playing tricks on us, messing with our minds. I've noticed some strange carvings on the rocks near the shore. They look ancient, definitely not something made by our crew. When I asked about them, the supervisors clammed up and told me to focus on my work. Typical. But I can't shake the feeling that these carvings are important, a clue to what's really happening here. The food situation hasn't improved. It's still bland and barely edible, but we make do. Sam and I have started, I guess, a little garden behind the research ship growing whatever we can from the scraps we find. It's not much, but it's a small act of defiance, a way to keep our spirits up. Every night, I lie awake thinking about the strange events and the secrets Morden Pol is hiding. I've heard rumours that some of the missing people were involved in some kind of experiment, but no one knows for sure. The supervisors are tight-lipped, and the NDAs keep us all in line. Sam and I are determined to get to the bottom of this. We've started keeping a detailed log of everything that happens, Every odd occurrence, every missing tool, every strange carving. It's risky, but we need to know the truth. If we can piece together the puzzle, maybe we can find a way off this island and expose whatever Morden Pod is hiding. There's something deeply wrong here. Tools, food supplies, even people disappear without a trace. It's as if the island itself is conspiring against us. Whispers of strange discoveries circulate among the crew. But Morden Pod keeps us in the dark with endless NDAs. It's like our lives depend on secrecy. Maybe they do. The food is abysmal, more suited to prison than a high-tech facility. My only comfort in this nightmare is... Sam? Sarah? Who knows? Reynolds. A fellow technician and my closest friend here. We keep each other sane with dark humour and half-baked escape plans. I'm not sure why I'm even writing this. I guess I just need some time... Huh? I guess I just need some times beside work and gloom to pass the time. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> there is a digit written at the end of the note. Nine. So we've got a six and a nine so far. Giggity. Raise the sail. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, I don't actually know how to steer it. What do I do? Oh, right. Use A and D to steer the raft. There we go. Right. Oh my god, we're a million miles out at sea already. Ah. The issue I have here is I can't actually see where we're going. Can I crouch? No, I cannot. Right, okay, well, she's seaworthy at least. We're not catching the wind very much. Not too bad. We don't want to go flying along straight away, do we? But we definitely, definitely on this video want to get over to an island. I'm thinking this one. It's over in the corner. Um, right. Oh, Alright, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Oh, shit. Right. Do I... Oh, what's that below there? Oh, my God. Look at that. It's a little mini sub. There's a cardboard box there with something in it. Or it might have something in it. Right, I'm keeping a close eye on Shark Watch here. I think we'll just go for it. Wilson, look after the boat. I'll just jump over in one go. Right, three, two, one, go. Oh, there we are. Right. Swim. Uh, how do I, can I grab that box? Get it, get it. Oh no, it's, it's floating away. I can't get hold of this neither. 
Oh, that was a total dud. Why does it go red? Oh, shit. I can't... How do I... How do I get up? We are... We're stuck in the sea. How do I actually get up? Look at that, man. How do I get into there? We're going to need some special equipment to get into that, aren't we? Raft. Hold it. Ah, right. There we go. Right. Oh, well, that cardboard... I'm gutted by that. I couldn't actually get the cardboard box. But, let's do what we can't do. Let's get ourselves over to this island here. She's not very fast, is she? I was hoping for a lot more speed than this. Can I, if I just hit escape here... Oh, yes, I, I can just kind of watch as we go along. Look at the island. There's our camp all the way in the distance over there. Uh, right, I cannot... Oh, yeah, here we go. Kind of see it. Might just need to correct ourselves slightly. Go a little bit to the left. What's left? Port. I could, that be, could be completely wrong. It had a 50-50 chance of getting it right, to be fair, didn't it? We'll, go, we'll call it port. I'm going to Google that later on. Or let me know in the comments if I actually got it right or wrong. <laughs> Port, starboard, I don't know. Right. There's another little island over there. They never did finish that tower, did they? You think there'd be like a big dish on the top or something? Right. Oh my god, we are going a lot slower than I was hoping for. At least the waves aren't getting uploads. It's quite peaceful and tranquil, isn't it? Just listening to the splashing. I wonder how far out to sea you can go. Like, would the game stop you eventually? If I just, like, turned to possibly starboard and just went for it, would it stop me eventually? I also wanted to build a roof, um, but I couldn't find enough cloth. So hopefully there's plenty of cloth on here and I can actually build a roof for our sailing yacht. The HMS... I don't know, we'll call it HMS Wilson. Let's call it that. <laughs> right. I don't want to, like, damage the boat by running it aground. Does it damage it? i just take the middle one. I can see what I'm doing then. Is that something over there? Oh, the sharks. Right. Got to be super, super careful here. Yeah, what the hell is that over there? Is that something... That's another island, isn't it? Some sharks, man. Right, here we go. Uh, let's lower that. Lower that. Right. We are... Ashore. Please, please, don't. Run away. I said run away. You know what I mean. Don't drift off. Broken stove. What's this? Oh, a bottled note. Here we go. Right, straight away on another island and we found a bottled note. Right, what we've got here? Note from a survivor. Bottled notes. Uh, hang on a minute. Yeah, here we go. Claire's letter. To whoever finds this, my name is Claire. If you find this message, please know that I am desperate and heartbroken. I put this message in a bottle, hoping it might reach someone, somewhere. Logan, if by some miracle you find this, I need you to know how much I love and miss you. Not a day goes by that I don't think about you, wondering why you ran away like that. Was it something I did? Something I said? The guilt eats away at me, and I don't understand why you left us. Tommy blames himself. He thinks he pushed you away. He hasn't said it outright, but I can see it in his eyes. The way he looks out at the sea, hoping you'll come back. The hurt and confusion in his heart are more than any child should bear. Jake, too young to fully understand, just clings to me and asks when you'll return. I have no answers for them. The only reason I haven't ended it all is because of the boys. They need me now more than ever. They've already lost so much. I can't bear the thought of them being alone. They are my reason for holding on, my reason for fighting through each day. But it's so hard, Logan, so hard without you. I miss your strength, your presence, the way you made us feel safe. I miss the sound of your voice, the way you used to look at me with that fierce determination. I miss the dreams we shared, the hope we clung to, but most of all, I miss you. 
If you're out there, please come back. We need you. I need you. The boys need their father, and I need the man I love. If anyone else finds this, please help us. We're stranded and losing hope. This is interesting, right? So we've got Claire, who is writing to Logan. And then we've got Logan Harper's notes here, alongside it. But also when it says here, we're stranded and losing hope, is she on the island somewhere now? Did she go looking for Logan on the island, or one of these islands? There's a barrel there. Ah, how can I take stuff back with me? Like if I wanted to take this barrel back, how do I do that? Oh, what's this? A laptop. Uh, can I hit it with my knife? Nope. So this is the issue here. You kind of pick and choose what you bring. Um, let me just jump onto my boat. Then what I'll do is drop my knife for now. Um, can I do that? Right. Cool. Drop my knife and I'm going to make... What's that? That's a leaf. <laughs> Gonna make a hammer so I can start bashing some bits up, maybe take some stuff back over at the island with me. So we wanna go B, uh, we go here, stone hammer, pitching, done. Uh look at it. Oh wow, circuit board, circuit board. It's a bit excessive, isn't it, actually? Uh plastic. Let's hit the circuit board. Microprocessor. Back when a laptop with a hammer seems slightly excessive, but needs must. We've got our spear still. And we've got the axe. Nothing too much around here. So far, we've got cloth, tyres, signs. I want a sign that says, like, no shacks or something. And I'll put that on my boat. Um, small stick. I did top up the barbie before I left, but no doubt by the time I get back, it's probably... Damaged air conditioner. Oh, oh, look at this. Sofa. Can't sit on it. Right, let's start. That's got to be our first point of interest, hasn't it? Working our way up there. But, oh my god. The body there. Take sticks. Little guy. Power box key. Oh, hang on. So, power box key. We must. Yeah, radio packs. So, we must have found Danny. Because he said uh, somewhere on one of his notes, I think it was this one here. Uh, you'll have to. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, there. I'll have the key on me when I die. Yeah. So, that's Danny, poor guy. We've got a blueprint here as well. Bone meal sack and a meat smoker. Oh, come on. We are having barbecue. Proper barbecue. View note in journal. The radio tower. This is it. Stranger occurrences. April 10th, 1985. Another two weeks have passed and the island's mysteries are only deepening. Sam and I have been spending more time investigating the carvings on the rocks. We found more of them scattered around different parts of the shore. They're intricate, almost like a language or code. Someone or something was here long before Morden Paul showed up. Yesterday, we stumbled upon an old, overgrown path that led us to a hidden cave. Inside, we found remnants of what looked like an old, maybe an old camp, rusted tools, tattered clothing, and strange artifacts. One of the artifacts was a small, intricately carved stone that seemed to emit a faint glow. We took it back to the ship to examine it further but it disappeared overnight. The supervisors have been acting even more suspicious. They've increased their patrols, and it feels like they're watching us more closely. We've had to be extra careful with our investigations, keeping our findings hidden and our conversations hushed. The food situation remains dire. Our little garden is struggling, but it's been a small beacon of hope. We've been supplementing our meals with whatever we can scavenge from the island, but it's not enough. The lack of proper nutrition is taking its toll on everyone. People are getting weaker, more irritable. It's like the island itself is draining our strength. Marcus, the colleague who wandered off a couple of weeks ago, has been having strange dreams. He says he sees figures in the darkness, whispering to him. 
is not the only one. Several others have reported similar experiences. The supervisors dismiss it as stress and overwork, but I can't shake the feeling that there is more to it. Sam and I have decided to keep a closer watch on Marcus. If there's something influencing him, we need to know. We've also been discreetly questioning other crew members, trying to gather more information without raising suspicion. The more we uncover, the more I'm convinced that Mordenpol knew exactly what they were getting into. This island isn't just a resource extraction site, it's hiding something much bigger, something they don't want the world to know. For now, we'll keep digging, keep documenting. Every piece of the puzzle brings us one step closer to the truth. But the island is fighting back, and I fear we're running out of time. We need to find a way off this rock before it's too late. There is a digit written at the end of the note, 9. So that is giving us uh, 6, 9, 9 so far. I need a bit of water after that. <laughs> right. The weather absolutely is taking a turn for the worst here. Um, I'm going to just have a little bit of my water because I'm like halfway there. Uh, lost my water bottle. Uh, there it is. Drink. Mm. Right, okay, let's see. I wonder if I can make a little camp in that cave, you know, so I don't have to keep going back and forth all the time. Is that moved? No, it hasn't. Thank God for that. Right, can we climb... Oh, this is going to be treacherous, this. Probably not, actually. I've made a big mistake here, but let's try it. I'm quite stubborn, so I'll stick with it. <laughs> oh, there's a car! Right, let's... Uh... Oh, definitely not, no way. Oh, yeah, we can, we can. When these rocks... How slippery do these rocks, rocks look here? You'd have fallen down by now, 100%. This was real life. Don't suggest that you go running up extremely slippery rocks in real life. I do that. Oh, yes. Some parkour going on here. Uh, that one there, yes. Uh, got on this edge here. Perfect. Right. Uh, this way. Get up here. Aloe vera. Wow. Okay, let's start the climb. Looks like an old church tower, doesn't it? Or something like a bell tower, or... Um, oh, tea bags! Peppermint tea, ginger tea. I do like a, a peppermint tea. Got to say. I'm a Yorkshire tea man, myself. Clichéd, probably, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm stuck. What the hell? There we go. Blueprint. For Whisper Seasoning. What, what like, that was like a... Seagull caught. Yes, we've caught Seagull back at the camp. Poor thing, I'm like hours away from <laughs> going back to it. <laughs> I hope it is a humane... Oh, another Wilson. Another one, that's strange. Uh, blueprint. Or play, plane engine. We're going to be flying out of here. One slice flag, we've got one of those. There's a blueprint down there as well, look. So is that the end game then, to fly out of here? Um, oh god, look at that. Whoa, that made me feel funny, that. <laughs> uh, snake bracelet. Oh wow, look at that. Does it do anything? Really not. So I'm, obviously I'm wearing it, but it's this funny thing again where I have to like... I can't do anything with it. I have to just drop it. It's a post-it note. Why are things so like strangely hidden on this game? <laughs> They're just like in the middle of nowhere. You know in journal. Okay. Um, let's just get onto that bridge. I just worry about like spiders running out or something. Of the undergrowth. <laughs> this happened to me earlier on. Another blueprint here. Look at this. Plain air filter. This is a... Oh, look at that. There's a blueprint down there as well. This is an absolute gold mine of an island. Right, let's take a quick look. Oh, 
just like thrown off that bracelet then. Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Uh, what was it I saw? Oh, it was the radio tower, wasn't it? Is this another one? Wow. Okay. May the 1st, 1985. Another two weeks, and the situation is becoming more dire by the day. Sam and I have been discreetly working on deciphering the carvings and investigating the strange occurrences, but the island seems to be fighting us at every turn. We've managed to make some progress with the carvings. They seem to tell a story, something about the island's history, and perhaps a warning. We've documented as much as we can, but it's slow going. I saw a shadow move there, I panicked. <laughs> the more we uncover, the more questions arise. Who created these carvings, and why? The cave we discovered has become a focal point of our investigations. We've found more artefacts, some of which seem to have strange properties. The carved stone we found earlier reappeared mysteriously after disappearing, this time in a different part of the cave. It's like the island is toying with us. The supervisors have become increasingly hostile. They've started conducting random searches of our quarters and interrogating crew members. Sam and I have had to hide our findings carefully, stashing them in places only we know about. The tension is palpable and it feels like a powder keg ready to explode. Our garden has yielded a small harvest but it's barely enough to supplement our meagre rations. The crew's health is deteriorating and morale is at an all-time low. People are becoming desperate. There have been fights over food and some have started talking about trying to escape on makeshift rafts. It's a suicide mission, but the desperation is real. Marcus's condition has worsened. He's become withdrawn, almost catatonic at times. The dreams he described have become more vivid and more disturbing. He talks about figures in the darkness whispering secrets about the island. We've tried to help him, but it's like he's slipping away. Despite everything, Sam and I remain determined. We started mapping out potential escape routes, marking places where we could gather supplies and avoid the supervisors. It's a long shot, but it's all we have. We can't let Mordenpol bury the truth of this island. In our latest excursion, we discovered something that might be a game changer. Deep in the cave, hidden behind a false wall, we found a journal. It's written in a language we don't fully understand, but some of, potentially some of, yeah, some of the symbols match the carvings we've been studying. This journal might hold the key to everything, the island's secrets, the strange occurrences, and maybe even a way out. Digit written at the end, number two. That takes us to uh, 6992, doesn't it? Um, I'll have to put that on, but then I'll, I'll drop it every time I pick something else up. Uh, anything along here for us? Oh, imagine just dropping in all well, that and just an animal there. <laughs> Let's maybe take these planks down. Might just speed up the journey slightly. Or not. If I can get onto it, there we go. Um, where's the next one? Down we go. Oops, gold. Right. And then down we go back on the beach. Uh oh. Shit. Uh, run, spider, because. Uh, shit. Drop. Where's my spear? Oh. Some spiders. Here it is. I'm gonna have it now. Oh god, it's fast. Wolf spider. Oof. That looks massive, that. I'm not. A big fan of spiders, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. What? Oh, Jesus, I thought that was an animal there. <laughs> Get my snake bracelet back on again. Got turtles here. Is that another spider? Keep away from that. More crabs, turtles. Hopefully, no Komodo dragons here. I think uh, along here was a blueprint wasn't there yep yeah, there it is uh lavenderol spray oh oh no there's two right spear oh my god there's two of them this one's massive shit oh don't let it bite me got it oh what's this Whew. What the hell is that? Oh, Black Widow? Never. Oh, 
freaking spiders, man. From an insect perspective, <laughs> like, I am so lucky that I live in the UK because, like, we just don't have poisonous or venomous insects, really. We've got, like, a false widow, I think it is, which is poisonous, but it's not, like, lethal. But, like, I just think, if you look at well, there's something really fast moving over there. But like Australia or something like that, like everything can kill you over there, can't it? <laughs> like everything's poisonous. And you'll die a horrible death, basically. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. What the hell is this now? Shit. It's a scorpion. Oh, no. Don't let it stink. Bloody hell, man. But... The size of that. Massive. Now, the massive ones aren't too venomous. Is that right? Um, blueprint. Elite crab trap. Get in there. Um, yeah, I thought that big, massive scorpions aren't as venomous as the little ones. It's the little tiny ones that are really lethal. Uh, but again... We don't have scorpions over here, so <laughs> not something I have to worry about too much. I feel like we've actually already explored a lot of this island. We're going to continue on though, we're going to go back over. I'm just going to drop this snake thing here, because I'm not too comfortable wearing it. I don't know what the hell it actually does. There's all this over there to explore. Uh, okay. Let's, I'm going to run back over, or sail back over to the island. Crap. <laughs> I'm going to bring over my bow and arrow, and I'm going to bring over my uh, spade. Yucca trees, need that. Spiders everywhere, man, horrible. Yeah, I'm going to go over, get some sleep. My sanity's starting to drop as well, actually. As a result of being tired, I guess. <laughs> An ice cream van has just gone past my house, but because I got my headphones on, I could kind of like only just hear it. And I thought it was on the game. <laughs> I thought it was the island trying to play with me. I think they've definitely been like inspired by lost having the you know talking about the island coming to life and secret doorways and murky companies all the rest of it can we surf over probably a bad idea right let's get some sleep level six in stamina nice let's get some sleep oh shit not again and i will see you back on the island if i can actually get onto my raft there we go i'll see you back on the island here hopefully in better weather too Right guys, welcome back. We are on Death Island, basically. This island is just death. There's scorpions, there's spiders, there's hornets. I've just found another Komodo dragon over there somewhere, which I avoided. But we're right uh, right round the back of the island now. Is that a cannon? Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, I didn't bring my bow and arrow either. I don't think hitting it with a hammer is going to do me much good here. So, like I was saying, this is death, this island, basically. <laughs> and we've found even more of it just over there. Speaking of death, we have had another death <laughs> back on the home island. Uh, who knew, would you believe this, guys, that an uncovered fire in a thunderstorm actually gets extinguished? Who knew, after all my years of life, that water puts out fire? <laughs> is this ribcage exposed there? And there's a cannon there. Can we shoot the cannon at that thing? What is it? Oh my god, he's coming for me. It's a... Is it a wolf? Oh my god, it's a cheater, I think. Shit. Come on, we can do this. Headshots. Oh my god. I didn't realise it was getting me like that. How do I get my health up? Uh, Please don't come up here. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, Can it still attack me if I'm in my bag? Yes. How do I get my health up? Do I eat something? Ooh, it's so close. Uh, eat that. 
Right, note to self, bring Born Arrow every time you go on a new island now. Right, let's flank it. There's spiders over there, there's hornets over there. All of this we do not need. Cannon. Right, it's got cannon balls next to it as well, come on. Right, there's a plane here, look at this, what the hell? Whose is this? Anything in it for us? Note. Journal page. Lieutenant J. Thompson. Note. Let's just leave that for now because we are in a tricky situation here. With. Was it a cheetah? Was it a leopard? I don't really know. It had spots, right? So is that a leopard? Leopard never changed its spots. So the. Whoa! And wolf spiders, man. I'm feeling stressed right now. Oh, Was that another one? Oh, it's a spider against it. Oh, stay there. Oh, that's a shadow. <laughs> oh, honestly, any jungle like floor situation is potentially bad news. There's a Komodo dragon over there as well. Turtle. This is Death Island, seriously. I feel like I need to come back here. Like, tooled up. That one's already dead. I killed that one earlier. Let's steer clear of the dragon just for now. Let's not try and tackle that. Is this remnants of a boat over here? As well. There's so many supplies over here. I think I could like establish a little base or something here. Oh, can we put this in the, in the water? I don't think we're strong enough to... No, we'll just go straight through it. That's good collision physics. What's this? Nothing. Right. I thought we were doing alright against that cheetah there. Or leopard, whatever. Clearly not. Ruined microwave. There's another island over there too. Which I really want to try and get to. Right, my health is slowly recovering here. Um, right, there, crabs. Guys, another st sticky note, so really what? Why won't it let me get it? Oh, that's glitched. Uh, right, hang on, jump and then E. Try again. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> right, try it now. Now, got it. Another Lieutenant J. Thompson. We're going to have to read these shortly. Wouldn't ordinarily do this shit. But I'm very, very underprepared for this. I was not expecting to see a bloody jungle cat. How does it get over here? Let's maybe leave the science behind for now. Come on, cat. Shit. Oh, it's going to do me. How does it even hit me? Got him now. Come on. Spamming it. Don't think any less of me. Yes, got it. Right. It is a leopard. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Raw meat. Raw meat. Raw meat. Can we do anything with its bones? You know, like use it to. No, we can't. Okay. Right, here we go. Note 1, the crash. My name is Lieutenant Jack Thompson, an American fighter pilot. Today, during a mission to Japan, a fierce storm scattered our fleet. I deviated slightly, uh, hoping to find a safer route, but ended up crashing on this uncharted island. Oddly, I felt a strange sense of relief. War already took my brother, and my grandfather perished in the Great War. I couldn't bear the thought of my pregnant fiance Mary O'Connor, losing me too. I hope to find a way to get off this island, back to Mary. I will continue searching and write more about my ordeals as a way to journal this chapter of my life. April 20th, 1944. It's been five days since the crash. I've managed to build a signal fire, praying my comrades will see it. Strangely, I'm almost happy about missing the battlefront. Surviving here, away from the horrors of war, feels like a strange blessing. I think of my beloved fiance, Mary, and our unborn child whom I hope will be a girl named Elizabeth. 
The thought of them fills me with joy and keeps me going. Hunger gnaws at me constantly. I have been eating some of the nearby plants, hoping they're not poisonous. So far, I haven't fallen ill, but the uncertainty is always there. This island, in a way, is my salvation. A chance to escape the bloodshed and live. I dream of, dream of the day I'll see my family again, grateful for this unexpected reprieve. Each day is a challenge, but also a gift. Okay, so that's a, an interesting one. Probably find out more of his journal as we go. Maybe on this island, I might have to start exploring this island a little bit more. Um, we're going to have one last little look into this. Grab some of this. Oh, look at this guy here. Fire. Christ, what? What was he doing? <laughs> Is this Lieutenant Thompson? That was his fire. Uh, what if we bash this? Will we get anything from it? Oh, that doesn't really... Oh, axe is better for that, definitely. Uh, just cloth. There. Anything along here on this side, maybe? Post-it notes. No, nothing in his hands that I can see. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, poor guy, I wonder if that is Lieutenant Thompson. That's, uh where it ended for him. Take a couple of these yucca leaves. Okay. We've got a broken down car here. Oh well, say broken down. Washed up car. We've got a sign. What does it say? Where earplugs. I want a no sharks sign. Oh shit, we're underwater now. Reach level 7 in stamina. That's good. Right, let's find our boat where it was parked up. We've come full circle now. I wonder if I can keep expanding my boat, you know, like if I come over and park up somewhere, there's uh, plenty of things here. I can make a massive, massive raft, you know, multi-sail raft and get the roof on it and stuff like that that I was talking about. But let's, Wilson's been obviously keeping an eye out on things for us. Let's head back to the home island. I want to try and look at that one or maybe one of the other ones. That looks like it could be a big one over there. Um... Let's just get back up on the raft if we can. Open the sails up. Try not to get stranded. I got stuck on like a reef last time. And honestly, it took me about 10 minutes to get off it. It was a nightmare. We are very, very slow going here yet again. Let's just see where we're at. Oops. But I think as we're on the high seas here, guys, this is where we will end today's video we've got quite a few more islands that we want to explore i'm going to use the time to loot up a little bit it's going to take me about half an hour to get back over by the looks of it i am not sailing with the wind at all here <laughs> so let's take the opportunity to loot up a little bit more and i will see you on another island hopefully so as always guys if you've enjoyed please drop a like uh, anything that i've missed on the island there if i've run past a post it not anything like that uh, or anything that you want to see me build, let me know in the comments. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, I'd be extremely grateful if you could do so. But for now, as we slowly, slowly sail <laughs> over, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Catch you then.